Hello everyone, welcome back to our English class. For today's video, we have got a very interesting and important lesson. We will have mathematics. But before we will get into the video, let us watch this. My new ruler is bright blue. He measures me and he measures you. Your measures length and width and height. My super ruler is alright. Measurement is fun for me. Just come and try and then you'll see. Find the height or weight or temp. My favorite thing is measurement. I got a scale to stand on. And it weighs that and it weighs more. It tells me pounds or kilograms. It tells my weight is just so grand. Measurement is fun for me. Just come and try and then you'll see. Find the height or weight or temp. My favorite thing is measurement. As I have said, our lesson for today is about mathematics. Okay. All right. Our topic is about mass, M A S S, mass. And for this topic, we will learn about choosing appropriate weighing scales. Again, choosing appropriate weighing scales. Second, Estimating mass in kilograms and kids. Again, estimating mass in kilograms and kids. Third, the relationships between units of mass. Again, the relationships between units of mass. All right, before we will start, please get your pencil, eraser, or rubber textbook and workbook because we are going to use them as we go on in this lesson. You can pause this video. All right, class, what is mass? Mass refers to the amount of matter in an object. Again, mass refers to the amount of matter in an object. Let's say, for example, in this um, example, you have there a picture of pumpkin. This is a pumpkin, and you have here a scale. Now, what is the mass or weight of the pumpkin? All right, it is four kilograms. It's very easy. All you have to do is to count one, two, three, four. Four kilograms. Another example, these are potatoes. All right. What is the mass or weight of the potatoes? Let's count. You have here zero. One, two, three, and then is it four? Okay. It is three kilogram only. It, it did not reach to four. Okay. So it is just three kilograms and 800 grams. 800 grams. Just remember, or please remember that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Again, one kilogram, this one, equals 1,000 grams. Now let's go to choosing appropriate weighing scales. But before that, um, when you say appropriate, it means correct or right. Correct weighing scales. This one is an example of weighing scale. This one too, and this one. So let us know what are the names of these weighing scales. For this one, this is bathroom scale. Again, bathroom scale. For this one, this is kitchen scale. And the last one is platform scale. 
See the difference? They are all weighing, weighing scales, but they have their own names. Let's try to see if you know, if you know the weighing scales. Practice time. All right, for this one, what do you think we're going to use? Mm -hmm. How about this one? This little boy. And how about this apple? For this rice, a stock of rice, you're going to use platform scale. You cannot use bathroom scale for this. And maybe you can use kitchen scale, but you need to um, divide divide it into many parts or you need to pack this, right? So the best answer is platform scale, this one here. And then for this little boy, you are going to use bathroom scale. You know this one already because you're going to measure your weight, I think every month. And then for the apple, you're going to use kitchen scale. Easy, right? Again, for the sack of rice, platform scale. For the little boy, bathroom scale. And for the apple, kitchen scale. Good. All right. Um, choose if it is grams or kilograms and identify the correct scale. For example, a broccoli. Is it grams or kilograms? Right, it's grams. And we're gonna use kitchen scale for broccoli. Oh, how about this girl? Grams or kilograms? Right, we're gonna use, or we're gonna have kilograms for this. And we will use what? Right, we're going to use bathroom scale. Let's try another examples. How about these plates? Grams or kilograms? Right, kilograms. Because there's, uh, there are many already. I mean, there are many plates already, right? Then, what to use? Okay, it's going to be kitchen scale. How about this one? A sack of flour. This is a sack of flour. We're gonna use kilograms and then, of course, platform scale. Very easy, right? So you need to remember this because you are going to use these examples to answer your workbook later, okay? All right. Let's go to our next subtopics that is estimating the mass in kilogram and kids. So to understand, I have here two pictures, a picture of cooking oil, which has the weights of two kilogram and five kids. While the what, what is the weight or mass of the washing powder? Okay, it's still the same because look at this one. It's balance, right? It is straight. If you're going to um, if you're going to draw straight line here, you can, right? So that means they are the same. They have the same mass, which is two kilogram and five kids. You can check or you can confirm if you're going to use a scale, a kitchen scale. And the actual mass of the washing powder is two kilogram and five k. Let's try to practice. All right, on your textbook, you have their examples, right? Number one, two, three, let's see.
Okay. For number one, which is the closest to the mass of the stapler? When you say stapler class, it looks like this. This is a stapler. So which do you think? Five kilogram? Five kid? Two kilogram and four kid? How about number two? Which two items will most closely balance the honeydew if it is estimated with a mass of two kilogram and two kids? So this is a honeydew class. It's not straight, it's not balanced. How to balance it? Like using these fruits here, what are the fruits that you are going to put in this part here that will balance the weight or mass of the honeydew. Let's try to see. All right, for number one, your answer is five kid, this one, five kid for the stapler. It, it does not weigh five kilogram. It does not weigh two kilogram and four kid. It's only five kids or five kid. Then for this one, number two, you're going to put banana, which is two kilogram, and then oranges. Where, where is the oranges? 12 kid. Because if you're going to add two kilogram and 12 kid, it will give you three kilogram and two kid. You understand? Okay, let's try, let's have more examples. Fill in the blanks. The mass of the bag of red beans is blank, then two kilogram and five kid. Letter B, the mass of the water or the water bottle is blank, then 32 kid. Now we'll see. Look at picture letter A. Are they balanced? Like, are they the same? No, right? This is lower. This is higher. For letter B, this is also lower and this is higher. They are not balanced. They are not the same. By the way, when you say red beans class, it looks like this. For, num for letter A, mass of red beans, like this one. So we will see the answer. What, which do you think? Okay. So for letter A, the answer is more. Let's, re uh, let's read the sentence. The mass of the bag of red beans is more than two kilogram and five kid, more than. Okay, so this one is more than the mass of this one. Where letter B, the mass of the water bottle is less than 32 kid because they're not the same. Okay. So class, what are the units of mass? Unit. So these, uh, the units of mass are number one, gram or letter G, small g. Number two, hectogram or HG. Three, kid. Four kilogram or kg. Five metric ton or t. So if I'm going to ask you what are the units of mass, you can say gram, two hectogram, three kid, four kilogram, five metric ton. These are the units of mass. So this time we will move to the relationships between the units of mass. Oh, relationship. We'll see what is this. For example, one metric ton or T equals 1,000 kilogram. So that is relationship. If you have one metric ton, so you have 1,000 kilogram. One kilogram equals 1,000 gram. 
Okay? 1 kilogram equals 10 hectogram. And then, or 10 feet. So if, uh, if there is one, I mean, there, if there is one kilogram, it means 10 hectogram. So by the way, when you say hectogram, it's the same as kid. One hectogram equals one kid. Okay. So please remember this conversion or these relationships because you're going to use these to answer your exercises. Okay, let us try with examples. Convert 3,600 gram into kilograms and grams. Okay, you, have it, you have there 3,600 gram. You can write it like this, 3,000 gram plus 600 gram. Or you can say, or you can write 3 kilogram and 600 gram, like this. Because class, 3,000 gram equals 3 kilogram. Next, convert 2 kilogram and 700 gram into grams only. You can write like this, 2 kilogram, 700 gram equals... Okay, like this one. But what is two kilogram? It is 2,000 gram. Okay, 2,000 gram. So you can write like this, 2,700 gram. Very easy, right? Okay, number three. A lorry weighs six metric tons. It's very heavy, six metric tons. It's like... Uh, what is what is its mass in kilogram? Let's remember that one metric ton equals one thousand kilogram. Okay, one thousand kilogram. So it's very easy. If you have six metric ton, then it is six six kilogram. Last example. A construction container weighs 7,600 kilogram. What is its mass in metric tons and kilograms? Okay. You can write like this, just like this one here, 7,600 kilogram equals 700, I mean 7,000 kilogram plus 600 kilogram. Or you will write like this, 70 or 7 ton and 600 kilogram. This is all about the relationship of the units in mass. So now class, you need to answer the practice on page 163. Please get your textbook, open it to page 163. Have a try. Okay, it's like this. You have four minutes to answer for this one. After four minutes, we will have or we will check it, okay?
Three minutes left. You have two minutes left. All right, you only have one minute. Twenty seconds. All right, time is up. We're going to answer your okay book. So number one, two kilograms is equal to 2,000 grams. Two, three metric tons equals 3,000 kilograms or a kilogram. And 9,000 9, kilogram and 350 grams equals 9,000 I mean, nine kilogram and three, 350 gram equals 9,350 gram. And then five ton and 74 kilogram equals 5,074 kilogram. Number five, eight kilogram equals 8,000 gram. Number six, 3,455 kilogram equals three metric ton and 455 kilogram. While 4,068 gram equals four kilogram and 68 gram. Then 9,632 kilogram equals nine metric ton and 632 kilogram. 56 ton or metric ton equals 56,000 kilogram. So it's very, very heavy. 89 kilogram equals 89,000 gram. Okay, I hope you, under you understand this. 
because you're going to answer your workbook later on. Now, class, um, our lesson vocabularies are mass, weight, measure, estimate, scales, bathroom scale, kitchen scale, platform scale, metric ton, kilogram, kid, pictogram, and gram. So these are the vocabularies that you need to remember because there will be spelling tests next next time or next meeting. You need to remember the spelling of these words. So for your workbook, you need to answer 120, 121, 122, and 123. So what to do? All right. You have here a picture, uh, the picture of page 120. Then you can use these pictures here to help you understand, okay? So this is a picture of luggage. This one is a can of beans. Next one is this one, a large sack of rice. This one is loaf bread. And this one is a Dorian. So you can find these words here in here. So if you don't know the meaning of what, but for example, number three, luggage. So you can look at this picture here. You can stop the video so you can uh, follow or you will know what to do. So you have your number one, an apple. So you have grams and it's letter A. We use kitchen scale. That is for page 120, uh, 120. for page 121, you're going to underline. Estimate the mass of each object. Underline the answer that gives the best estimate. For example, the mass of the pineapple is about three kilogram or three kid. So for this one, your answer is Your answer is three kilogram. Okay, so you are going to draw a line. For page 122, use the correct or use the following benchmarks or this picture here to estimate the mass of the object. For example, number one, which object will weigh almost the same as the tomato? So this is the tomato here, this one. And it has one kid. The mass of the blank is about one kid. So which one? Is it lemon? Is it basketball? Or is it the balloon? All right, your answer is lemon. You need to understand the sentence. That is your challenge. Let us, let's go to the next page. So it's, this one is very easy. You can rewatch 
or you can watch this video again so you can answer this exercise or this problem. For example, number one, fill in the blanks. 2,000 gram is just equal to 2 kilogram, like that. Okay, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to answer your homework. See you all again tomorrow for our Zoom class. Bye for now.